Are you tired of constantly reacting to life's challenges without thinking first? Do you want to find peace and clarity in every situation? In today's video, we will explore the ancient wisdom of Buddhism and learn how to train your mind to respond, not react. Let's dive into the transformative practice of training your mind to respond, not react. Lesson 1. Pause for clarity before reacting. Pausing for clarity before reacting is a valuable practice that can greatly improve your interactions and relationships with others. When we react impulsively, we often speak or act without fully understanding the situation, leading to misunderstandings and conflicts. However, taking a moment to pause before responding gives us the opportunity to gather our thoughts, consider the situation from different perspectives, and choose a more thoughtful and appropriate response. One important aspect of pausing for clarity is to take a deep breath and center yourself in the present moment. By focusing on your breath and grounding yourself in the here and now, you can calm your mind and emotions, allowing for better clarity and presence of mind. This practice of mindfulness can help you to detach from any immediate emotional reactions and instead respond from a place of awareness and understanding. When you pause before reacting, you give yourself the chance to assess the situation more objectively. By taking a step back and considering the circumstances from a more detached perspective, you can gain clarity on what is truly happening and what the best course of action might be. This reflective pause helps you to avoid jumping to conclusions or making assumptions that could lead to unnecessary conflict or tension. When you take the time to pause and truly listen to the other person's words and perspectives, you demonstrate respect and consideration for their point of view. This practice of active listening can help you to better understand the thoughts and feelings of others, leading to more meaningful and constructive conversations. By pausing for clarity before reacting, you also cultivate a sense of patience and self-control. Instead of reacting impulsively out of anger or frustration, you learn to respond thoughtfully and intentionally. This self-awareness and self-regulation not only benefit your immediate interactions, but also contribute to your overall emotional intelligence and well-being. When you give yourself the time to reflect on a situation and consider it from different angles, you are more likely to come up with creative and effective solutions. By approaching challenges with a clear and focused mind, you can find resolutions that are fair, balanced and sustainable. Pausing for clarity before reacting can help you to build stronger and more authentic relationships. When you respond mindfully and considerately, you show that you value the other person's feelings and opinions. This gesture of respect and understanding fosters trust and empathy, creating a positive and supportive environment for communication and collaboration. By cultivating mindfulness, self-awareness and empathy, you can improve your communication skills, strengthen your relationships and develop a more peaceful and harmonious way of engaging with the world. Lesson 2. Gain fresh insights by considering different viewpoints. Many times, we may find ourselves stuck in our own ways of thinking, believing that our perspective is the only way to see things. However, by opening ourselves up to different viewpoints, we allow ourselves the opportunity to expand our understanding and grow as individuals. When we are willing to listen and consider different viewpoints, we invite new ideas and perspectives into our lives. This act of receptivity can lead to profound insights and a deeper sense of empathy towards others. Rather than holding on to rigid beliefs, we learn to appreciate the diversity of opinions and experiences that exist in the world. Everything in the world is constantly changing, and all beings are interconnected in a vast web of existence. When we consider different viewpoints, we acknowledge this interconnectedness and recognize that each perspective contributes to the greater whole. By embracing diverse perspectives, we also challenge our own biases and preconceived notions. When we are open to hearing different viewpoints, we confront our own limitations and expand our capacity for understanding. 
This process of self-reflection and growth is essential for personal development and cultivating a more inclusive mindset. Considering different viewpoints allows us to break free from the confines of our own egos. When we are able to see beyond our own narrow perspective, we realize that there are multiple ways of looking at the world, each offering its own valuable insights. This humility and openness enable us to connect more deeply with others and develop a sense of shared humanity. Globalization has brought people from diverse cultures and backgrounds closer together, presenting us with a rich tapestry of perspectives to explore. By engaging with these different viewpoints, we not only enrich our own lives, but also contribute to building a more tolerant and understanding society. It is important to note that considering different viewpoints does not mean abandoning our own beliefs or values. Rather, it involves being open-minded and willing to learn from others, even if their perspectives differ from our own. By engaging in respectful dialogue and seeking common ground, we can bridge the gap between different viewpoints and foster mutual understanding. Ultimately, the practice of considering different viewpoints is a powerful tool for personal growth and social harmony. By embracing diversity and cultivating empathy, we can gain fresh insights and enrich our lives in profound ways. Buddhism teaches us that by expanding our perspectives and developing a greater sense of interconnectedness, we can move towards a more peaceful and compassionate world. By being receptive to different perspectives, we not only broaden our understanding of the world, but also deepen our connections with others. This practice of empathy and inclusivity is at the heart of Buddhism's teachings on compassion and interconnectedness, reminding us of the transformative power of embracing diverse viewpoints. Lesson 3. Own your actions for personal growth. Owning your actions means recognizing and accepting the consequences of the decisions we make. It involves a deep sense of self-awareness and a willingness to acknowledge our role in shaping our present reality. When we take ownership of our actions, we move away from a victim mentality and embrace a more proactive and empowered mindset. Personal growth is a journey of self-discovery and continual improvement. It requires us to look inward, confront our shortcomings and strive to become the best version of ourselves. Without owning our actions, this growth process becomes stunted and ineffective. When we blame others or external circumstances for our problems, we relinquish our power to change and grow. By owning our actions, we reclaim that power and become active participants in our own transformation. This shift in mindset allows us to learn from our mistakes, make better choices in the future and create positive change in our lives. It also fosters a sense of accountability and integrity, both of which are essential for personal development. When we own our actions, we recognize that we are not defined by our past mistakes, but by how we choose to learn and grow from them. This mindset shift frees us from the burden of guilt and shame, enabling us to move forward with a renewed sense of purpose and direction. It also reinforces the idea that personal growth is a continuous process that requires patience, perseverance and self-reflection. Owning our actions also involves taking responsibility for the impact we have on others and the world around us. It requires us to consider the consequences of our behavior and strive to make amends when we cause harm. This sense of accountability fosters empathy, compassion and a deeper connection to our fellow human beings. Personal growth is not always easy. It requires us to face our fears, challenge our beliefs, and step outside our comfort zone. Owning our actions is a crucial step in this journey, as it forces us to confront our vulnerabilities and embrace our imperfections. It teaches us that growth is not about being perfect, but about being willing to learn and evolve. When we own our actions, we become more resilient in the face of adversity. We learn to bounce back from setbacks, grow stronger from challenges, and adapt to change with grace and humility. This resilience is a valuable asset in navigating the ups and downs of life and staying true to our path of personal growth. 
By owning your actions, you set yourself on a path of self-discovery, empowerment and fulfillment. Lesson 4. Breathe to manage stress and regain control. When we pay attention to our breath and engage in mindful breathing, we invite a sense of peace and centeredness into our being. It is a simple yet profound practice that has been utilized for centuries across various cultures and traditions to manage stress, anxiety and emotions. Picture this. You find yourself in a situation that triggers stress or anxiety. Your heart rate quickens, your thoughts start racing, and you feel overwhelmed by the circumstances. Instead of letting these emotions spiral out of control, you pause. You take a deep breath in, allowing the air to fill your lungs completely. Then you exhale slowly, releasing the tension and negativity with each breath. In that moment of conscious breathing, you create a space within yourself, a space where you can observe your thoughts and emotions without being consumed by them. This act of stepping back from the chaos of your mind allows you to regain a sense of control and clarity. As you continue to breathe mindfully, you may notice a shift in your perspective. The once overwhelming situation appears more manageable, and you find yourself better equipped to handle it with composure and grace. By tapping into the power of your breath, you are not only managing stress, but also reclaiming authority over your reactions and emotional responses. Deep, intentional breathing serves as a bridge between the tumult of external circumstances and the tranquility of your inner being. It is a practice that grounds you in the present moment, reminding you that you have the power to choose how you respond to challenges. In the teachings of Buddhism, the breath holds great significance as a tool for cultivating mindfulness and awareness. Through practices like mindful breathing and meditation, individuals are encouraged to focus on their breath as a means of anchoring themselves in the present moment. When we connect with our breath, we connect with the essence of our being, the part of us that remains steady amidst life's upheavals. In each inhalation and exhalation, we find a rhythm that mirrors the ebb and flow of existence reminding us of the impermanence and interconnectedness of all things. As you delve deeper into the practice of conscious breathing, you may discover a sense of liberation and empowerment that comes from within. You realize that no matter the external circumstances, you always have the capacity to return to your breath, to find solace in its simplicity and wisdom. Research has shown that deep breathing techniques can help lower stress levels, reduce anxiety, and improve overall emotional regulation. By incorporating mindful breathing into your daily routine, you are not only cultivating a sense of inner peace and resilience, but also nurturing a healthier relationship with yourself and the world around you. Lesson 5. Listen to your body. It signals stress. Our bodies are incredibly intelligent and have a way of communicating with us when something is not right. One of the most important signals our bodies send is in response to stress. Stress is a natural part of life, but when it becomes overwhelming, it can have negative effects on our physical and mental well-being. Listening to your body means paying attention to the physical sensations and changes that occur in response to stress. These signals can manifest in various ways, such as muscle tension, headaches, stomach problems, fatigue, changes in appetite, or even changes in sleep patterns. Each person may experience stress differently, so it is essential to be attuned to your unique signs and symptoms. Tuning in to these physical cues is crucial because they serve as early warnings that something may be out of balance in your life. When we ignore these signals and push through the stress without addressing its root causes, we risk exacerbating the situation and potentially causing harm to our bodies and minds. Acknowledging and accepting these signs of stress is the first step towards taking care of yourself. It requires a level of self-awareness and mindfulness to recognize when your body is telling you to slow down and make changes. By developing this awareness, you empower yourself to respond to stress in a healthy way rather than reacting impulsively or ignoring the issue altogether. 
Taking the time to listen to your body can help you identify the sources of stress in your life. It may be related to work deadlines, relationship conflicts, financial pressures, or even internal struggles such as self-doubt or perfectionism. Once you pinpoint the triggers, you can begin to address them more effectively and implement strategies to manage and reduce stress levels. Self-care plays a significant role in managing stress and maintaining balance. When you listen to your body and honor its signals, you demonstrate a commitment to your well-being. This can involve simple practices like getting enough rest, eating nourishing foods, exercising regularly, practicing relaxation techniques, and seeking support from loved ones or professionals when needed. When you are attuned to your physical and emotional responses, you are better equipped to cope with challenging situations and bounce back from adversity. By recognizing your limits and taking proactive steps to care for yourself, you build the foundation for long-term well-being and mental strength. When you tune in to the signals that your body sends, you become more in tune with your needs, preferences and boundaries. This awareness empowers you to make informed choices that support your health and happiness, ultimately leading to a more fulfilling and harmonious existence. Lesson 6. Be mindful, reduce stress and increase focus. Being mindful means paying full attention to what is happening in and around you without any judgment. It involves observing your thoughts, feelings, sensations, and surroundings with a sense of curiosity and acceptance. When you are mindful, you are fully engaged in the present moment, rather than being lost in regrets about the past or worries about the future. When we are mindful, we are better able to recognize and acknowledge our stresses without becoming overwhelmed by them. By developing this awareness, we can respond to stressful situations with more clarity and calmness, rather than reacting impulsively out of fear or anxiety. Mindfulness allows us to step back and observe our emotions and thoughts without getting caught up in them, which can significantly lower our stress levels. Mindfulness can help increase our focus and attention. Maintaining focus can be challenging. By practicing mindfulness, we can train our minds to concentrate on the task at hand, without being pulled in different directions by external stimuli. When we are fully present in what we are doing, we can perform tasks more efficiently and effectively. Mindfulness also plays a crucial role in enhancing our overall well-being. By cultivating a mindful attitude towards life, we can develop a deeper sense of gratitude, compassion and resilience. Mindfulness encourages us to appreciate the simple joys and beauty present in each moment, helping us find fulfillment and contentment in the midst of life's challenges. To incorporate mindfulness into your daily life, you can start by setting aside a few minutes each day for meditation or reflection. Find a quiet and comfortable space where you can sit and focus on your breath or observe your thoughts without judgment. As you practice mindfulness regularly, you will notice a gradual shift in your awareness and perspective, leading to a greater sense of inner peace and clarity. You can also cultivate mindfulness in your daily activities. Whether you are eating, walking, or engaging in conversation, try to do so with full attention and awareness. Notice the sensations, tastes, and sounds around you, and bring your focus back to the present moment whenever your mind starts to wander. By being mindful and reducing stress in your life, you can improve your overall well-being and enhance your ability to focus on what truly matters. Mindfulness is a powerful tool that can help you navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience, leading to a deeper sense of fulfillment and inner peace. Practice mindfulness regularly and you will gradually transform your mind and cultivate a more mindful way of living. Lesson 7. Let go of expectations for peace. To truly understand and embody this lesson, it is crucial to delve into the core principles of Buddhism, particularly the teachings on impermanence and non-attachment. Impermanence, or the belief that all things in life are constantly changing and transient, is a fundamental aspect of Buddhist philosophy. 
By accepting and embracing the impermanent nature of existence, individuals can let go of their cravings for permanence and stability, which often lead to disappointment and suffering when things do not go as planned. Attachment to specific outcomes not only creates inner turmoil, but also prevents individuals from fully experiencing the richness and diversity of life. By detaching from the outcomes and embracing the flow of existence, one can cultivate a sense of inner peace that transcends external circumstances. Letting go of expectations for peace does not mean adopting a passive approach to life or becoming indifferent to the world around us. Instead, it involves developing a mindset of openness, acceptance, and equanimity in the face of life's uncertainties and challenges. When we release our tight grip on how things should be and learn to embrace things as they are, we free ourselves from the burden of unrealistic expectations and create space for peace to enter our hearts. The practice of letting go of expectations for peace also invites us to cultivate mindfulness and presence in each moment. By staying fully aware and engaged in the present moment, we can observe our thoughts, emotions and reactions without getting caught up in them. This mindful awareness allows us to respond to life's ups and downs with clarity and wisdom, rather than reacting impulsively based on our conditioned patterns and expectations. Releasing expectations for peace invites us to surrender the illusion of control and trust in the natural order of the universe. It reminds us that peace is not found in trying to manipulate external circumstances or force outcomes to align with our desires, but in surrendering to the inherent wisdom and harmony of life. When we can let go of our need to control every aspect of our lives and learn to trust in the greater flow of existence, we can find peace in the midst of chaos and uncertainty. Letting go of expectations for peace is a profound practice that requires courage, humility and trust. It asks us to relinquish our attachment to specific outcomes, release our rigid expectations and surrender to the ever-changing nature of life. By embracing impermanence, practicing non-attachment and cultivating mindfulness, we can free ourselves from the shackles of suffering and discover a lasting sense of peace that arises from within. Ultimately, the lesson of letting go of expectations for peace invites us to recognize that true peace is not something to be chased after or attained through external means, but is an inner state of being that emerges when we release our grip on how we think things should be and embrace the beauty and complexity of life as it unfolds. By embodying this profound teaching, we can learn to navigate the ebbs and flows of life with grace and resilience, finding peace and serenity in the present moment, no matter what challenges or uncertainties may come our way. Lesson 8. Learn and grow from mistakes. Mistakes are a natural part of life. They happen to everyone, no matter who they are or what they do. But the important thing to remember is that mistakes are not the end of the world. In fact, mistakes can be valuable learning experiences that help us grow and become better versions of ourselves. It's all about how we choose to respond to them. When we make a mistake, it's easy to feel ashamed, embarrassed, or even frustrated with ourselves. We might think that we're not good enough or that we'll never be able to succeed. But the truth is, everyone makes mistakes. It's a normal part of being human. The key is to learn from those mistakes and use them as opportunities for growth. Mistakes are seen as opportunities for self-reflection and improvement. Instead of dwelling on our failures, we can choose to see them as valuable lessons that can help us become more resilient and wise. By shifting our perspective and embracing our mistakes, we can transform them into powerful tools for personal evolution. We need to take the time to reflect on what went wrong why it happened, and what we can do differently next time. By being honest with ourselves and acknowledging our shortcomings, we can begin to make positive changes in our behavior and mindset. Instead of being harsh and critical towards ourselves, we should be kind and understanding. We are all works in progress, and it's okay to make mistakes along the way. By showing ourselves love and forgiveness, 
we create a safe space for growth and transformation. Another crucial part of growing from mistakes is to take action. It's not enough to simply acknowledge our errors, we must also take steps to rectify them. This might involve apologizing to others, making amends or course correcting our actions. By actively addressing our mistakes, we demonstrate our commitment to personal growth and learning. When we face challenges and setbacks, we have the chance to develop our inner strength and perseverance. By overcoming obstacles and learning from our mistakes, we become more resilient in the face of future difficulties. This resilience is a valuable asset that can help us navigate life's ups and downs with grace and courage. Through our experiences, we gain valuable insights into ourselves and the world around us. By reflecting on our mistakes and the lessons learned, we can deepen our understanding of life and cultivate wisdom that can guide us on our spiritual journey. Learning and growing from mistakes is a continuous process. It requires patience, self-reflection, and a willingness to embrace our imperfections. By approaching mistakes with an open mind and a compassionate heart, we can transform them from obstacles into opportunities for growth and self-discovery. By adopting a mindset of learning and growth, we can turn these missteps into stepping stones toward becoming the best versions of ourselves. Remember, it's not about avoiding mistakes altogether, but about how we respond to them and use them as catalysts for positive change. Overall, the spiritual teachings of Buddhism offer profound guidance on training the mind to respond, not react. By incorporating these timeless lessons into our daily lives, we can navigate challenges with grace, cultivate inner peace, and foster personal growth. Let us embrace the wisdom of Buddhism and strive to become more mindful, compassionate, and resilient beings on our path to self-discovery and enlightenment.